Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are always helping me with English. You are correcting me, you are bringing me some new vocabularies, you are always very kind and patient with me, and you're not judgmental, like you're not judging me. You're teaching me a better English. I appreciate it and I'm very grateful for it. Mais aujourd'hui, nous allons inverser les rôles. Aujourd'hui, c'est moi qui vais vous apprendre le français. So I'm going to teach you what I'm best at. I mean, between you and me, I'm best at French because I'm a native speaker, which doesn't mean that I am very, very good at it. <laughs> This video is not going to be really complicated for you. I'm going to teach you basic words that I am 100% sure you're going to be able... <laughs> She's so tired. And I'm sure you're going to be able to remember it. And at the end of the video, you're going to have some French in your mind. That's very exciting. <laughs> remember, you're amazing. You can do it. Let's go. So the first category of words that I want to teach you is the very, very basic word. That the word that you're going to use every day uh, with everyone and that are really the basic, the, the polite words, I guess. The first one is bonjour. It literally means good day, actually, but if you translate it, it means hello. Bonjour ou salut. Those two words, you can use them, you can use them with whoever, but salut is more with people that you already know or with people that are the same age as you. Bonjour et salut. Then, when you are, you know, meeting someone, let's say, in the middle of the afternoon, you're going to say good afternoon, right? It's bon après-midi. So this one is a little weird because you say bon après-midi, but bon is actually that. And that is not bon, it's bon. But with this expression, you're going to say bon. I think we do say bon après-midi, but nobody says it, you know, like it's bon après-midi. And if you hear well, it's bon après-midi, you know. You need to take this little N and to make the link with the A. You can say bon après-midi, but it doesn't sound smooth, you know, like bon après-midi. Bon après-midi. Après-midi. <laughs> Literally afternoon. And then comes the night, or you say night actually, you know, like the, the end of the afternoon, the beginning of the night. Here you say I mean, at this time, you say bonsoir. Literally, it's good evening. Yeah, it's good evening. Bonsoir. Here, it's bon and you say bon. Bonsoir. <laughs> um, you can say that when you meet someone and it's that time of the day. You say, oh, bonsoir, bonsoir. And you also say that when you're leaving someone. Bonsoir. Uh, you know, like you're, you're living and you're saying au revoir, bonsoir. I mean, like au revoir is also the, the bye bye. Bye bye is au revoir, which, yeah, we use it. We actually, we use it, yeah. <laughs> But I'm always saying bye-bye, bye-bye. <laughs> so I'm not even using my French words, actually. But anyway, we have uh, the good night. Uh, good night is bonne nuit. So you're gonna have bon in the feminine way, bonne, and night, nuit, bonne nuit. Once again, here again, I'm not saying bonne nuit, which you can say if you want to say the word. It's it's uh, it's not weird, but we're gonna like skip the end of this, the the word and say nuit right after bonne nuit. Lieu, instead of saying bonne nuit, but you can say bonne nuit. It's it's very French, I'd say, but it's not smooth, I guess. I don't know. But if you want to talk very like politely or well, bonne nuit is good to hear. But I say bonne nuit. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, so I should slow down. Bonne nuit. Nice. There is a word that is very interesting, and it's ça va. I talked about it on my live uh, a few a few days ago, and it's something that you say when you meet someone. Uh, you say hello, so you say salut, bonjour, bonsoir, and right away it's cool to say ça va. I mean, it's cool. It's it's what everybody does actually. You know, ça va, ça va. And if you, if someone is asking you ça va, you say ça va. <laughs> it's always like ça va, ça va. You know, it's like the, you're sending, you're like, it's a ça va, ça va, ça va. I don't know how to express it, but it's like ça va. It's good, yeah, I'm good. It means I'm good, um, I'm okay. Uh, it's a question and an answer at the same time. 
kind of weird, I know. Then you have when you want to, when you, let's say you bumped, I think you say, into someone, you want to say sorry, you say pardon. Uh, pardon is literally sorry for for that kind of, you know, like this kind of moment. And you can use pardon also when you want to, um, you know, say, ask someone that you don't know something. You can say pardon or excusez-moi, excusez-moi. This one is kind of hard. Ex Excusez-moi. Uh, literally, literally means excuse me, and that's the same. You can say pardon, I like, or excusez-moi, I like, you know, well, in French or in English or in whatever language actually. <laughs> and finally, oh no, I forget the enchanté. When you meet someone for the first time, you can say so bonjour, salut, bonsoir, ça va. But if it's the very first time and you want to introduce yourself, you can say enchanté. Uh, literally, it's something like, it's nice to meet you, uh, and it's very polite. So if you say, bonjour, enchanté, and then you say, like, Mary, you know, like, bonjour, enchanté, Marie. It's, it's, it's perfect, literally, it's, it's perfect. Um, and then you have the thank and thank you. It's merci, or merci beaucoup, if you really want to say, thank you so much. Or just if you really want to mean, like, thank you. You know, merci beaucoup. Beaucoup literally means a lot. Thanks a lot. So that is for the basic words. Uh, I'm kind of going fast because I have so many things I want to teach you in this just one video. The second category I want to teach you is composed of the two sentences or beginning of sentences. Je suis and c'est. Literally, je suis is I am. And with that beginning of the sentence, you can definitely say a lot of things. You can express yourself. You just have to add any adjectives that you want, followed by je suis to express yourself. Je suis content. I am happy. Je suis en colère. I am angry. You can't say everything with je suis. And that's because you need another verb, which is avoir. <laughs> and that is j'ai. I'm hungry, j'ai faim. It's kind of difficult and we're not gonna go into it, but you can use je suis and j'ai to express a lot of things. Je suis bien, I'm good. Um, j'ai froid, I'm cold. J'ai chaud, I'm hot, I'm too hot. And then the other one is c'est. C'est literally is it is. And with that, you can really express a lot of things. Uh, if you're talking about like a meal, uh, oh, c'est chaud, oh, c'est froid. It's cold or it's uh, it's too hot. Uh, c'est bien. Mm, ça, c'est bien. That, that, it's good. C'est bien. It's good. Then if you want to say that something is delicious, let's say, c'est délicieux. It's very similar. Délicieux. It's the... <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh no. C'est délicieux. It is delicious. If you want to answer, you know, like someone is talking to you about, uh, I don't know, his new work or his place or his movie and you want to say, oh, that's nice, that's nice. You can say, C'est super, c'est super. Literally, it's super. And I don't think you use it that often in English, but here in France, I'm, it's like it's nice. I'm really often using it. C'est super. <laughs> if you want to say that something is beautiful or cute, you're going to say c'est mignon, c'est beau. Uh, if you want the feminine way, uh, it's c'est mignonne, c'est belle. Enfin, c'est belle, uh, ça n'existe pas en fait, non. Et donc c'est beau. Oh, that's true, you can say c'est belle. Yeah, you're gonna say c'est joli. Belle, you're gonna use it with a person. So elle est belle, but with c'est, it's going to be joli. Yeah, that's true. That's so weird. Then, just a quick other category, because when you're traveling, often you're going to coffee or restaurant. Um, keep in mind that those following words that I'm going to uh, not teach you then are exactly the same in France in French but it's just that we don't have the accent so pizza is the same pizza uh, hamburger we're saying burger or hamburger but it's the same uh, lemonade it's limonade it's slightly different uh, if you want to um, order water it's eau um, eau like eau <laughs> like eau it's eau uh, but be careful if you want uh, you know, like the water with the bubbles. I don't remember how you say that. It's eau gazeuse. If you just want plain water, I think you say plain water. It's eau plate. Plate. Like 
plant. Well, if you want a coffee cafe, but I'm sure you already knew it. But I hope for you that if you come to France, uh, you don't order any pizza or hamburger. Also, it's very good and I love that kind of food. You should try escargot, cuisse de grenouille, choucroute. I just ate a choucroute for my lunch. It was wonderful. <laughs> The last category that I want to teach you, I mean, the last category of words that I want to teach you are very useful words that we use for everything, every day. So the first one is ceci, cela, ce. It's when you want to say that, this, uh, that thing, that the, you know, ceci, cela, ce, ce crayon that pen. Or if you don't know what it is in French and you want to show, uh, let's say, the waist dress what you want, you're gonna have like your little, um, you know, like the thing with everything written. You're gonna say, um, ceci, please, s'il vous plaît, which we're gonna say after. Ceci, cela, ceci, ou ce, ce, and she's gonna understand, you know, like, or he's gonna understand, that's for sure. Or if you just wanna say to your friend, oh, uh, French friend, oh, look at ça, ceci, cela, ce, ça, ça, it's good too. You can use whatever you want because you're we're gonna understand you. So if you also wanna say more than just ceci or cela and want to use ça or ce, I'm doing that because there's my cat here, but you can add chose ou truc. Those two words are the words that I'm probably using the most. They literally means thing, that thing, cette chose, uh, ça, la, chose, ça, ce chose, ceci. You use it when you don't know how to call something and that happens to me a lot of time in French. I just forget my words in French and I'm always saying uh, ce truc, tu sais, uh, cette chose là. Et, and sometimes I'm using like three or four times truc in shows in just one sentence because I just don't remember the words. But it doesn't matter. But for you, it's really useful to say ce truc, cette chose. Chose is feminine, so you're gonna use the feminine way of ce, which is cette. That's all. Ce truc, cette chose. You just have to remember those two. And that is very useful when you want to just point out something. You can point, point out something in it. Point. It's, uh, it's not impolite like in certain uh, country, if I remember well. And lastly, uh, I mean, no, one, one before is un parapluie. Because un parapluie, <laughs> un parapluie, un parapluie, it's very practical, right? Very handy. S'il vous plaît. It's please. It's complicated, I know. But we don't have any shortcuts, actually. It's s'il vous plaît. And finally, because it's kind of handful to Monsieur, Madame. When you want to like stop someone or address, uh, address you know, uh, to someone, when, when you want to address to someone, it's not English, but you understand me. <laughs> if it's a man, you can say Monsieur, excusez-moi, Monsieur, blah, 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 or just Monsieur. Uh, or if it's a woman, you can say Madame. But I think you also already knew that one. So, excusez-moi, madame. Pardon, madame. S'il vous plaît, madame. Yeah, people like when you call themselves monsieur or madame. They feel, they feel good, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, oh my God, this video is very long. I hope I kept it as simple as I could, but I'm not really used to teach uh, French, actually. If you have any questions, leave them on the comments. I'm reading all the comments, so I will answer your question as best as I can. Uh, if you're interested in me doing more of this teaching lessons, I will be very, very, very happy to do so if I can be helpful to you. Again, I'm very uh, grateful and I want to thank you everybody who, who is always uh, helping me with English. Thank you so much. I know I have some work to do, but um, you know, little by little, I'm gonna be good at it, I guess. So yeah, I wish you a very, uh, you know, a good luck in your French learnings. I will see you very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye. Let me teach you some French. Let me teach you some French. 
That's offending that. Yeah.